but still, dude. Oh, shit. Where'd you guys come from? Oh, my God. That's a lot of guys. Okay. Retreat. Welcome back, everybody, to Enshrouded. I'm the Bearded OG, and in this episode, we're going to begin the process of moving uh, to Woodguard and surround the surrounding area. Um, so before we get started with that, though, Emily's got something for us. I uh, I made the, the copper axe and pick, so we got that done, and I have all the ingredients I need to make the... Uh, advanced glider. Let's do that now. Boom. Okay, cool. And that, um, we don't need that one anymore. Um, and so that finishes that quest that we needed to do. Um, Emily has something to say to us. Hopefully it's the getting the, the campfire, a kettle or the kettle more specifically. Um, yeah, she wants to cook for us. Fireplace for the kettle. Yada, yada, yada. Say hi to Raul for me. Okay. And, um, so I think this is here. Let's take a look at the that quest. Fireplace for the farmer. Uh, location. Yes, that is. That's at Pike Meads, right? I think I think so. Pretty sure that's at Pike Meads. All right, I'll tell you what we're gonna do then. Um, let's do that first, so we have it, and then and then we'll work on. Uh, moving to our new home over here in um, Harvest Homestead. Yeah. Woodguard Harvest Homestead. Basically this area here. All right. So um, I think we're good to, to go with everything uh, to do that. So let's move to Ancient Spire. A rumble in the category. Oh, that gives us a block. We have an elixir well and a flame sanctum. Uh, or we could go to here, drop down and do hidden hunting grounds really quick, and then work our way up to there. I th think that's what we'll do. Okay, let's fast travel to here. So like I mentioned a couple episodes ago, what I'd like to do, I think is you know we're going to mix up building and adventuring and in some cases we might do a little of both in a single episode um as opposed to having like really long building episodes and only doing building but we'll see how it goes i mean you know sometimes it does just make sense to do that too so we'll uh uh you know um yeah, let's let's go ahead and take this altar down and we'll build another one to keep with us. And maybe put it a little bit closer to Pike Meads because um we're gonna need one there, so. Okay, let's move in this direction. Uh, we'll keep that on ice bolt for the moment. I think I'm gonna wait for buffs until we get closer to our destination. And, uh, yeah. Looking forward to uh, moving to our new location. I need to do that. There we go. Got the new altar. Oh, did I forget to pick up the workbench that I had over there? Uh, you know what? Whatever. I don't care. Let's just go. <laughs> Maybe what we will do is take a honey, though, at least, so we can have fast stem regen while we're running around here. All right, so Pike Meads is not super easy to get to, as I recall. Um, it's actually over that way. So, yeah, okay, let's go down here. I'm not going to do anything with 
that place. This is probably a... Oh. That's a... That is, um, whatchamacallit? Amber. Right? Yeah. I didn't know there was an amber mine here. It's not in the shroud either. Is this new or has this always been here? It's probably always been here and I just never noticed it. Okay, good. We need amber for, um, fireball two spell. Uh, so here's what I'm going to do then. Um, let's go here. I still, my game is still really stuttery. I don't know why, man. It just is. So let's do a create marker. And we'll just use a flag. We'll make it green. And yeah. Okay. So now we know where an amber mine is. Very nice. Yeah. Let me know in the comments, guys. Has that always been there? Because I don't remember it. Hey, do we have a flame altar over here? We do. Flame sanctum. Let's go do this so we get another another flame. Or spark, rather. Huzzah! And we'll grab a honey to boot. All right, back on the road here. And we're going to go down into Le Shroud. So let's take one of those. We'll hold off on an elixir for now, um, but we will take a flask of the fell. And um, we're going to do one of these, one of these, and one of those. Make sure that's on fireball one. And let's keep on keeping on here. Kill this guy just to uh, get another shroud sack because we'll need them for other things later on. One shot at that dude. Northern Caravan Camp. Okay, um, we've got a thing to read here. Expedition log two. Okay, pause the screen to read that. There's a chest. Flask of the Fail. We'll take it. Oh shit, bugs. Nice, we got a level. Three points. We're working our way towards Radiant Aura. We're going to take Pyromaniac. An additional 20% on fire damage. Nice. That's going to be actually quite helpful to us. Uh, when we get to... Um, can we get him from there? Yeah, there we go. Uh, when we get to Pike's Mead. Because we're, I think we're a little bit low for that area, but we can make it happen. All right, let's keep going this way. Yikes. Okay, let's not go down there. Oh, 
Well, we'll get plenty of shroud sacks. That didn't even target him. from up here? Yes, we can. Okay, we should be able to pop out of the shroud here in a second and replenish our shroud timer. Ah, oh, that's a beautiful thing. Okay, yeah, we're getting close to Pike's Pike Mead's reach here. What I think we'll do is we'll set our altar down right about here. Okay, um, and what do we need to make a workbench? Three string and eight wood logs. Let me gather all the shit to do that real quick. All right, um, it's getting on in the day here, so we might not make a whole lot of progress, but let's just see what happens here. There's really, there's two things here. There's, well, we're not killing the dragon right now. Uh, but we are trying to get the, the kettle. Right, that's what we're trying to do. Okay. See, I think we're we're level 11. So these are all 15 creatures. So we're a bit in over our head, but if we're careful, I think we can make it work. See, I hear a bad guy. Oh, he's up above. Uh, I can't target him. Probably just because there's stuff in the way. Let's go up here. Also need to take a potion because I am not okay, let's get one of those going and one of these going. 
We have Flask of the Fell, yeah, okay. Yeah, we'll see if we can get that root knocked out. We gotta kill this guy first, though. One of these tower shield guys. Yeah, wands are no longer effective on them. That is a new situation. Shit, where'd you guys come from? Oh my god, that's a lot of guys. Okay. Retreat. Guess he's aiming at other dudes that I can't see. Let's just pop a bandage for the moment. Oh, hello. All right, let's see if we can start knocking this down. Good. Okay, so we took care of the... Oh! I thought I got them all. Nice! Okay. Um, that gave us one point. But we, uh, we're saving for three points to get Radiant Aura. Hey! Cut that out. So let's see. We're uh, we're still going that direction. Got some lore over here. Pause the screen if you want to read that. Can't open that door. This gets us out of the shroud for a moment. Okay, let's see. Let's go back this way. There's a gold chest. It's a level 15 ghostly shield. What are we wearing right now? Level 13. We'll take the 15. Little upgrade there. Pause the screen. Spawner. Okay, we need to go this direction. Oh, this is it. Nice. Okay, we got it. 
Pause the screen. Grab the arrows there. Okay, so, um... If we were not a mage, I would probably attempt to get all the guard of the north set, but that's not really going to do us any good as a mage. And I think we're probably a bit low to be taking on the fell wisp wyvern at this point. We might be able to do it. Uh, and then again, maybe it'll just kick the shit out of us. I don't know. So I think... We're going to head back to the base because we accomplished our main goal. And uh, we'll sleep. And then we'll, then we'll begin the process of moving to Harvest Homestead. The world is worth fighting for. Okay, so we'll finish the kettle quest. that we're going to delete no reason to keep it okay so um i guess the first thing we need to do is we need to go figure out our altar position at harvest homestead we're going to start by fixing up harvest homestead and then we'll move on to woodguard later on that is the plan So let's go ahead and scooch on over there. Where are we at? Here we go. Oh, we have an elixir well that we should knock out too. Oh, shoot. You know what I should have done? Damn it. I should have brought my, um... What are they called? Spore orb thingies? Oh, we got a little garden over here, too. Nice. Very nice. Okay, so... The plan is to fix up Harvest Homestead. And we want to make sure that the first altar covers this entire area right around here. We're going to need an altar to cover the fields too, but we'll worry about that later. Um... Okay, let's uh let's put an altar down and I'm gonna kinda guess where I think it should go. Then we'll upgrade it and hopefully my guess will be correct. Because I think once we upgrade it we can't get the they can't get the orbs back. I just need to find some stone around here. Okay. I think if we put the altar right here that'll probably allow us to upgrade it enough to cover all of these buildings over here and hopefully the fields once we upgrade it as you know as high as we can get it so let's go back to our base If I, if I screw this up, it's not, you know, certainly not the end of the world. We can farm up some more shroud cores, but it's just going to take time. Um, I have a total of seven cores. Okay. Um, yeah. Okay. So let's head back there.
I think if we have our pick at it, it shows us the border. Yes, it does. Okay. So that's currently where the border is with no upgrades at all. That's just the default. Okay, upgrade the altar. Let's upgrade it twice. Oh. Okay, so that affects how... Okay, I see what's going on there. I didn't know that that was tied in with the flame level, but this actually... <laughs> We're just a tiny bit shy on the back of the barn here. Oh, my God. Really? It, it's covering the house. Well, no, it's not. It's not covering the garden here. Okay, but this is good, though, because it helps us understand what we, how, how you know, how much we need to adjust it. So I want to use, I, I basically want the line to come to this fence, right? Um... Okay, how, oh, so so we know we need to move it to the east a bit. How is it to the south? All right, well, it definitely covers this field and, and this, most of this field. And quite a ways into Woodguard, too, which we don't. So that's fine, though, because we don't really need it to cover Woodguard for now. We're going to have to use another altar for Woodguard regardless. So we just need to move it just a, a smidge north and a larger smidge east. So I'm thinking. Maybe right about here would be good. All right, let me go um, farm up stuff for another altar. There's no stone around here, so I have to go like way the hell over here to do that. Okay, I think we need to bring it probably about this far and this far this way. Okay, let's pick this one back up. That'll probably do the trick for us. Except for I only have uh, one shroud core now, so we're going to either have to have Balthazar make some more of those for us, or we'll have to go kill some of the, uh, uh, you know, the flying white ladies like that are in the carpenter place. Okay, upgrade the altar. Oh, that's why, because it takes five to do the next level. Gotcha, okay. All right, so it gets to the edge of here, and it currently gets to the edge of here, and about halfway through the house. What about here? Because this is where I think I'm going to set up my warehouse. Uh, it's just... Oh, no. Actually, we're good. I mean, it just barely doesn't cover the, the edge of the warehouse here, but it covers the bulk of it. So I think that's workable. All right, so we just need to farm up five more shroud cores, uh, you know, to get that up uh, upgraded to the next level, and I think it'll be just about right for us. Um, we might have the stuff to make that, or we might be close to having enough stuff to make it. Let's just see where we're at with that. So we'll talk to... You and Shroud Core. Let's pin that. We're going to need 50 spores. 
and 50 liquids to make that happen. Um... Okay, so... Here we go. Okay, yeah, we definitely have 50 spore. Liquid's easy. Even if we have to go farm a little bit more of it, it's not a big deal. We got 28 there. Yeah, okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just go farm up enough liquid to just make five more spores, and then we'll be in business. Oh, hold. Never mind. Look at that. We got 50 right there. Fantastic. Okay. All right. Let's go ahead and make these. Five shroud cores. Upgrade altar. There we go. Okay. So let's take a look, see. Okay, that's good. It's a little further to the north than I needed to go, but I don't think that's too much of a problem. We went a little bit too far to the east. Don't think we would do anything down this way anyway. And let's see what the coverage is on the fields. Okay, so it goes all the way to here. Alright, what I might do then is um yeah we're we're not going to be able to cover this with with this upgrade um it's just not going to happen because It'll be it'll be too far to the south. But what I might do is I might f fine tune that adjustment, you know, farm up some more spores and then find uh, our cores. And yeah, farm up some more cores and fine tune that adjustment. But it it'll it'll work for now. It'll definitely get us started. Okay, good. Um, all right, so. We're gonna uh, we're gonna definitely dismantle this, and we're probably gonna have to get rid of every all of this stuff. It it's kind of it's kind of neat. It does give it a warehouse feel, but the problem is they're all in the wrong place. You know, they're right in the middle of the road, so. I think we're gonna just go ahead and remove them. And we got a chest down here too. Nice. With some potions. I'll probably replace that with um, a normal floor. Cut it out. Because if I don't, that's gonna keep happening. <laughs> Dismantle this. There we go. Okay, now the other thing is... I don't like this stone uh, for interior stuff just because it's, you know, it's got dirt in the cracks and grass and all that. It's fine for an exterior look, but for an interior look, I'm not a fan. We'll probably keep this wagon here because it's kind of cool looking, both of them. They're not really in the way of anything. Might have to redo what's going on down here. 
Uh, let's um, let's dismantle this as well. We'll repair, you know, anything that's that's broken. The building overall is in pretty good shape, though, and it and it does kind of have a warehouse feel to it. Like this is like a loading dock, and it's got a block and tackle thing going on there. Uh, so yeah, I like it. I think it'll make a nice little warehouse for us. So the next step now is to um, start moving our storage and our crafts people over here. And um, we're going to, um, I think we actually have some some working, yeah, we do have working beds up here. So we don't have to move a, a bed over. And we'll just kind of start living in the house, you know, and fixing it up as we go. But the warehouse needs is the first thing that has to happen because that's going to be all of our storage and all of our stuff. All right. Well, what I'm going to do then is um, I we need to figure I, I need to figure out what I want to use here uh, for for the blocks. And we'll probably upgrade the floor to like the refined wood floor and do away with the, you know, with the secret door business. In fact, let's just get rid of that right now. Um, because there's no, re not really any reason to have that down there that I can think of. So we'll just replace all that with a solid floor. And then we'll line, you know, the walls of the place with, uh, with chess. But we'll leave the openings. And then get this corner fixed. All right. So, um, yeah. Okay. We'll work on that in the next in, in the next episode because we're out of time here. So, all right, guys. Thanks for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed this episode. And if you did, please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment, share the video, and we'll catch you all in the next episode. Bye bye.